Hi guys, well, within this box lies the future of Back of Beyond Tech. Hi guys, well I haven't been around for a while because quite frankly there hasn't been anything happening I'm that interested in. Um, everyone got really excited about Raja Katori going to, AM, uh, going to Intel from AMD, yada yada yada. Um, basically the short and long of it is, it's all rumours at the moment. Once we find out what's happening, personally, I think NVIDIA are going to buy part of AMD, then I will report on it. The other thing everyone got excited about was the GTX 1070 Ti and how it shouldn't exist, whereas I actually think the 1080 shouldn't exist. I think the Ti is a much better card. Anyway, moving forward, <clears throat> I bought this, um, which is slightly ironic. <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, but this is all to do with what I want to do next year. So I thought a lot about it and I thought it's either going to be Threadripper or X299. I don't really need either of those platforms. So I'm going to be water cooling my X99 machine. And I haven't done any, any water cooling in about 10 years. So <clears throat> pardon me, I'm quite looking forward to that. So I thought, well, I'm not going to put a water block on a 970 that I have in there at the moment. So I bought this. I can get out of the box. Yeah, I bought this. I bought a GTX 1080 Ti armor. Now, before you all go mad in the comments and say, oh my god, dude, this thing doesn't overclock, it thermally throttles, I know all of that, okay? There's a specific reason I bought this card. I bought this card because the armor has basically the same PCB as the Gaming X. It costs a lot less than the Gaming X. Plus, I also bought this from eBuyer and I had some uh, vouchers for eBuyer. So I ended up getting this for about, what was it, after the rebate, it was £650. If I factor in a water block on top of that, it takes it up to the price of a Gaming X and I'm going to get the performance of a Gaming X. Um, the irony is, I actually have a video saying why you shouldn't buy a Pascal card. <laughs> you should actually wait for Volta to drop. but. I can't wait for Volta to drop. I want to get my project started now. So I've purchased this card. It's going to be going into the Intel rig. Thermals will not be an issue for me because like my thermals at the moment are, what are we at the moment? Oh, this is some Fahrenheit. So at the moment we're at 55 Fahrenheit, which is about 15 degrees. So thermals are not an issue for me, probably to around um, middle of May, June next year. So, you know, I've got like, seven months to get the water cooling side of it sorted out, buy all the stuff I need and then to install it and I'm really excited about this. Um, since I'm here I will open this up. Uh, it's quite exciting. I've never ever owned a 1080 or an 80 Ti card, an upper, an upper end card so I'm quite excited about this. Um, get rid of that. What do we get in here? We get the normal kind of documentation I assume oh ho, ho. let me get the card itself and it is big and um, it's no frills very basic and um, basically you get the card um, and you get no back plates spare PCB again I don't care I'll be buying a back plate for the C uh, GPU block to eight pin power um, I'm not gonna go over the specs guys I'll put them up on the screen um, and that's it. And the reason the thermals are so bad on this card is because this here, this is a 1070 cooler that they've strapped onto a 1080 to keep costs down, essentially. Um, so that's why the thermals are so bad on this card, basically. I mean, it throttles a bit. It doesn't throttle that much. The reality is it's still going to tear the ass out of any 1080 on the market. Um, so I really don't care about that. I'm probably not even going to overclock this 1080 until I get the water block sorted out for it. So, um, yeah, put your comments down below. Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm wasting my money? Um, personally, I think this is a prime candidate along with Founders Edition um, 1080 Ti's to be put underwater just for the cost. The cost alone um, is really enticing for this. I mean, even without the rebate, this card is only, um, what is it retail for? 685, I think. You can find it for as low as 670, 660 um, without the rebate. So 
is really good value, I think. When you compare the performance you're getting to, say, something like a 1080 or a Titan. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy. That's what I bought. That's my plan going forward. I'm not sure if I'm going to use EK. Everyone seems to use EK. I like EK, but I might go for something else. I quite like the Fantex Glacius stuff. Um, but then there's EXPC as well. So as we go forward, probably mm, end of December, beginning of January, you'll see some content coming out where I talk about what I want to use. Uh, and I might put a few straw polls up to get your opinions as well, guys. But that's it, guys. Um, that's me out this weekend. Out is Battlefront weekend, so I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be playing it on this beast, probably in 4K. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're not new, why aren't you sharing the content? Catch you later in another great tech video. Bye.